Hey everybody, welcome back to another LEGO The Lord of the Rings gameplay video character walkthrough. Today I'll be playing as Gollum and Elendil, the King of Gondor. And I'm gonna maybe gonna show you around Mount Doom. So Gollum here has got pretty basic, you know, scrambling, kill him, strangle him, attacks. You know, it's part of his character. But um, he's a fun little character to play with, and he's a quite unique one, as he's the only one who can climb these kinds of walls with the dead fish and the rocks and whatnot. So here's one mithril brick, that purple stud that I just got. It was a mithril brick, but you just get it. You um, you jump uh, you jump backwards, and then you get it. So it's quite a simple mithril brick, provided that you have Gollum. Which, at this stage, if you reach Mount Doom, you should. So, yeah. Yeah, there's a map stone, if you haven't activated it. He's got a pretty cool walk and sneaking. Sneaking. And he's got a pretty cool standing pose as well. But, um, I want to show you guys another Mithril Brick location. I actually haven't got it. So, uh, where is it? Wait, wasn't there a quest here that I haven't done? I think there was. Wait, let me check. Yeah, so I might show you guys a quest, um, or two, possibly. Wait, oh, no, there's the Mithril Brick. You just gotta go through the race gates. I've never done this, so excuse me if I fail. So, I love this music. I don't know why, but it just gets to me. It's so fun. Um, anyway, if you do fail the race, just do it for the music. It's hilarious. Whoa, did you see a Lendil teleport? If you didn't see that, go back and replay it. Replay it. So, I'm just following the studs here. Following the studs. Where's the gate? Oh man, no! Yes! I made it! That's gotta be the luckiest save ever in LEGO history. LEGO history of riding on sheep. Sheep. What am I talking about? I don't know why there's a sheep in Mordor. Group of sheep. I don't know. Is it like a New Zealand reference? Okay, this is getting hard. I'm guessing this is not gonna work. Oh, there it is. It's on the mountain. I'm having trouble finding these things. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Oh, a ramp. Yeah, no. Ramp. No. Ramp. Oh, an orc. Luckily, I'm on a sheep, so he can't chase me. He can't touch me when I'm on a sheep. Follow the, the studs. Getting the myth the brick. What? Where's the thing? Is it up here? Where is it? What? Okay, that was weird. Is that a glitch where it didn't come up, or did I just go completely the wrong way? So, um, yeah. Supposed to be Gollum gameplay, but it's also supposed to be like a mithril brick walkthrough. Uh, so here's the thing. I haven't gone to Mordor. This is actually my second time in. First time was I just scattered around. It was actually with Frodo and Sam. Uh, so here, second time. Let's do this, sheep. Go, Gollum. Go, Gollum. Yeah. So I think I know the way. What's it? Yeah. Whoa. I thought I missed that. So, um, I think I know the way now. Right? Probably. You guys are probably like writing up something right now saying I'm a massive fail. But it's okay. Because this sheep is awesome. And if I do fail this stuff, it's okay. I'm on a sheep. Nothing will happen to me. So avoid the obstacles, they do bump you out of the way, I don't know why, so I'm just gonna avoid them. But, um, I still don't know where to go actually. I think we, there, where's the other one? I can't find it, oh there it is. Oh, it's a bit low on time to do this, no. I'm just following the studs, I don't know where to go. So, get back here, sheep. I wanna ride you. No. No. No, not that. Why? Get on the sheep. Get on. What? 
Oh, there, did you see it fall down? Who saw that? If you didn't see it, replay it. Another glitch. Uh, with a sheep, not a horse, but it's a glitch and it's awesome. I was doing some co-op with my uh, friend and that happened in him exactly, except he was on the sheep, so uh, it was pretty epic. I didn't record that one, uh, but here we go, third time is the charm, or whatever the phrase is, three times lucky, or three times the charm, that's what it was. So, um, here we go, I think I know the way. So, which is this gate. Oh, the, uh, what I, you do is you look out. So the gate's there. So whenever you go through one gate, the next gate comes up. So, see there? To actively look for the second gate that you're about to go through to actually see where you're going. See that the second gate just popped up. So don't follow the studs. Because I did, and I got uh, 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 way confused. So, oh, it's on the mountain, right? Oh, it's on the mountain. Wait, maybe it is. Oh, there, it's on the mountain. No. Oh, man. I'm so stupid. Oh, it's a ramp. But, yeah. So, I'm sure you guys are saying, oh, the way is so easy. What is this guy doing? But, I am trying to some gameplay video with vehicle riding which is not really vehicles it's more like animals so I'm also trying to show you stuff while I'm trying to get the ripple brick because look at the landscape it's just beautiful even though it's the land of shadows it is kind of it's kind of great to see I mean, look at those mountains look at them they're, they're amazing I gotta say uh, I've had this for about, I think, almost a week, and this is a great game. This is way better than Batman 2. This game makes, makes Batman 2 look like, makes it look like, you know, Pac-Man compared to, like, Call of Duty. So, even though Pac-Man's awesome, but it's great. This game's great. So, um, yeah, I think I know the way now. I've said that like five times. Still gotta get to Alendo, so now I'm actually trying because I'm running out of time. So, on the mountain, a random Urukai walking up the hill. Oh, now he's chasing me. So, could have gone that ramp, lots of stars, it would have been epic. But, yep, yeah, ramp. So, um, right now, I think I've got it. Oh, it's on the mountain again. Oh, now I see it. Oh, well, it's gonna be epic. Listen to the music. It's awesome. Woo! Did it. He did it. Go sheep and golem. Golem sheep. Oh, man, that was awesome. That was an awesome experience. Do that, but don't fail, because it's amazing. <laughs> Look at Gollum's face. Mm, you did it. So now I'm gonna do some Alendo gameplay, cause he deserves some time. I gotta say that the sheep got more gameplay than Gollum. But here we go. He's got the back and forth basic slashing, just like most of the characters, like Hama and Gamling, I think. And um, I think it's Denethor too. But when you ground pound it does an awesome thing because he can break mortal lego check it out makes like flames of orange whatnot energy logo thing and it's just awesome he's trying to make lots of them oh, that would look cool i love it how there's like little lines coming from the ground that's just great so yeah he's got the basic thing do you see him crawling so he's got the basic back and forth attack thing Whoa, look at his pieces. It's practically Gollum in completion, except without arms. But I guess in the Lego set, he does have only uh, three pieces. 
But uh, this is the blacksmith design location, in case you haven't gotten it. It's right here, on by our door. Right now it's destroyed, so I'm okay. Uh, it's right here, bam, you get it, blacksmith design, right there, see, I've already gotten it. But, um, if you go down there on the little bridge, there's Gothmog, who I did with the video with Saruman and the orcs. So, there you have it, we have Lendil and Gollum. Alright, see you next time, tune in, see you, bye.